Hey, Tyler, how are you? Hello. How would you describe your running style? Uh, physical, physical downhill running, uh, a little, little shifty, like that little secret seat, breakaway speed and all that. So. so what was this weekend like for you in terms of what you thought might happen, what you ended up doing, where you are at the moment? Yeah, shoot. Um, it was a uh, it was low key like a full of full of emotions, like a like a roller coaster. Low key, just seeing where like what's what's actually gonna happen. You know, I think because uh, like nothing's in in your control right now. Like everything's on to the 32, 32 teams. So you know, I did everything I could. So now it's just a waiting game. So cool. Appreciate. It. Congratulations, man. No, thank you. Next, we'll go to D. Orlando Ledbetter, uh, Atlanta Journal Constitution. There we go. Hey, congratulations, Tyler. I muted myself there. Um, what? Uh, how do you see? What do you know about the Falcons' offense, and how do you see yourself fitting into it? Yeah, sure. You know, you know, since they drafted me, I hope get get a good fit, get a good fit to it. You know, I'd be a be a piece that they might have been missing. Hopefully, but you know, just we don't really know until until we get there and they explain to me. Yeah, and um, can you share with us your conversion from linebacker to running back? Shoot, uh, you want the long story or short story? <laughs> well, long story, we got some time today. <laughs> yeah, so uh, came in as a running back, and then they switched me to line. So I played all special teams, switched me to a linebacker the 2019 after my redshirt freshman year. So my second year, 2019, switched me to linebacker, and then running backs got down due to injuries, and then they switched me back to running back and finally got that opportunity that I've been waiting for. And just lastly for me, um, could you discuss the Independence Bowl where you went for the 192 and winning the MVP at that at the bowl game there? Yeah, shoot. Uh, it was a blessing. It was a blessing, you know, worked. Uh, you know, all, my, all my credit goes my O-line, though. You know, like the, the, the big boys – are the ones that are in the trenches, but you know, I, all my success goes to them. I appreciate them very much. Thank you. All right, we'll go to Josh Kendall, the athletic. Hey, Tyler, nice to meet you. Likewise. What, what were your conversations with the Falcons people like prior to the draft? Did, did you have much contact with them, any contact with them? Did you get a sense that they liked you? Yeah, so Coach, uh, Coach Petrie ended up uh, doing my pro day. We ended up doing pro day as well. And then besides that, had a couple calls, had a couple calls, and then that was, that was pretty much. Did you get a good sense from them? Did you, did you think that this might be one of your landing spots, or did they just did those conversations just go like all the other conversations? No, I thought I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. You know, just in the back of my head, because you really, you really just don't know right. what, what, what's gonna happen. Sure. Thank you, Tom. All right, we'll go to Charles Odom, the Associated Press. Hello, welcome to Atlanta, and thanks for doing this. Um, tell us how um, how a guy goes from being a walk-on uh, to NFL draft pick. Damn, uh, just putting your putting your head down and getting to work. Getting to work, you know, I've been slept on almost almost my whole life, I guess. But yeah, really, just uh, just betting on myself, using my support that I had with my family, family, friends, coaches, and just, yeah, like I said, just put my head down and get into work, really just put in that I am today. And uh, and tell me about your, your your workhorse style. Not only did you set uh, record for uh, yards, you set record for carries, 276 is a is a full season. Uh, do you feel like you're a guy that gets stronger um, as those carries mounts? Oh, for, for sure. Uh, as long as, yeah, you, especially at this position, you got to take care of your body. I think that's a that's a really big one, especially at the running back position. So I did a really good job at doing that during the season, which allowed me to produce produce on the field and get as much carries as I could. Uh, we'll go to Gabe Burns, AJC. Yeah, Tyler, congrats, man. Um, what would you just say is an element of your game that's maybe underrated or even overlooked? Damn, I would say speed, possibly. Or then the catching, catching out the backfield. We didn't really do that a lot at uh, BYU, but when I did, I made the most out of almost every opportunity. So, and and your tackle breaking numbers are really impressive. Just 
how much pride do you take on, you know, just kind of being a force and delivering a blow, you know, to defenders? Yeah, I always keep in a – like, low-key, like, just uh, just making that one guy miss, not letting one guy be the one that tackles me. i rather have, like, the full team and still making, like, a full team to tackle me rather than just one guy. So I kind of kind of pride myself in that, I would say. I will go to Allison Estrangelo, WSB. Hey, I was just curious. I saw that obviously you went to BYU, but you also are from the same hotel, hometown as Jamal Williams. Kind of, is there any connection there? Have you ever any conversations with him? Does he mentor you? None? None. Oh, so I, I talk to him now, but like before the fact, no, I didn't really know him. And then, but now, but now like the past year, we, we've been, we've been staying in contact a little bit. And is there any guy in the league that you try to like model your game from watching? Yeah, shoot Nick Chubb. That's a that's a bad man right there. So, yeah, I watched him growing up, especially uh, Marshawn as well. All right, we got time for a couple of follow ups. Uh, Michael Rosty. Yeah, I mean, what do you, what would you say you took from Nick Chubb and from Marshawn? Yeah, really, just. Uh, like beat not beat the hammer off the nail, I guess. Like hit them before they before they hit you. Like stay like stay physical, one cut, and then if you need to make a miss, make a miss. But the only way for or the only way you can get positive yards is forward instead of really dancing around type stuff. What's like the most interesting thing you think you do not football related? Uh, I bowl. You bowl. Are you good? Pretty good. Hit a hit a or, or or I want to say like good good like three hundreds type stuff but like one one eighty one eighties here and there so finally got consistent. Cool. We'll go to D Led. D Orlando Led better. Yeah, Tyler. The um, the folks on TV said there were some fumbling issues. Um, can you expound on that on fumbling and ball security? Yeah, I really took a lot of. Um, I think uh, a couple. No. So one of them was like a pitch that right when I got hit, it came out. So that, that counted as a fumble. And then two of them were in USC. And then one, one of them was my fault because I, no, two of them, two of them were good plays. One of them was my fault, mm -hmm. but I, I for sure learned from that one. And then the second one, it was just like, what the hell, like what the hell happened? But now I just need to really just focus in on just, Covering, covering the ball, covering the mm -hmm. ball for sure. The uh, high and tight rule, that that type of oh, thing. Yeah. yeah, with the with the claws, well. So right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it.